Maryland, they don't call it Ocean City for nothing. Officials there tell us that the storm surge that they have seen in Ocean City, Maryland, is the highest that they've seen in decades. And Chip Reed is there. Tonight, Ocean City, Maryland is like a city of canals. Side streets up and down this narrow barrier island are filled with surging water from the ocean on one side, the bay on the other. Earlier, it was easy to see why vast sections of the city are under a mandatory evacuation order. Homes near the bay took a relentless beating, and on the beach, the surf sounded like an unending series of explosions. This was the Ocean City Fishing Pier yesterday. This is the pier today. Almost half of it is gone. Most have obeyed the evacuation order. The boardwalk is all but empty. But Diane Brought and Bill Seidel refuse to leave, despite the danger. It's the most flooding I've seen in all the years I've lived here. Now, was it difficult last night getting through this? No. We Not slept really. and ate and watched the World Series and... I, I think the worst is yet to come from what they're saying on the news. And are you going to ride that out too tonight? We're here. Oh yes, we're, we're here, here for the door right Before the storm, Cara DeVoe and her two sons were in a homeless shelter. Now, for safety reasons, they've been moved to an evacuation shelter. Are you okay being here? Mm-hmm. You are. But you're, are you worried? Are you scared about this hurricane? Kind of. DeVoe says she too was kind of scared of Hurricane Sandy, but not anymore. We're a strong family and we'll weather right through it. So Somehow or other. Yeah. So everything's going to work out, right guys? Mm -hmm. Now city officials say the good news here, Scott, is that no one was killed and no one was seriously injured by this storm. And they say the main reason for that is that the overwhelming majority of people here heeded their warnings and got out of town. Chip, thanks very much. As we mentioned,